the age of transparency, should law enforcement agencies be destroying officers' disciplinary records? It is a hot topic coming to light after two very public use of force cases in Mesa. Tonight, exclusive to ABC 15, here's Sonu Wasu with the head of DPS, Colonel Frank Milstead, speaking about uh, out about where he stands on this issue and why he actually encouraged officers to purge their own records when he was police chief in Mesa. I think that's reasonable. We all make mistakes. We're all human. The human element is alive and well in all of us. But what if that mistake is alleged use of excessive force, like the incidents you see here in these videos involving Mesa police? They had purged the files, and that was very troubling to me. Former Maricopa County Attorney Rick Romley is the man hired by the city of Mesa to conduct an impartial outside review of the use of force cases. When I started up the internal affairs investigation, one of the things I wanted to know is the past history of the officers. Did we have a pattern of problems with these officers? And I found out that the officers' uh, files had been purged to a great extent. No way to know if any of these officers had a history of violence. Was this a pattern or a first-time incident? Romley says the officers' disciplinary records were purged before Batista came on board. Frank Milstead served as police chief in Mesa from 2010 to 2015. And I would adamantly disagree with Mr. Romley. Uh, the policies in place, the policy was approved by the, by the citizens of Mesa and the city council and the mayor at the time. Milstead admits he advised officers to purge their files when an investigative reporter started asking questions. I told the officers at the time, and there's a video out there literally that says, look, if you have things that you've paid the price for, that you've been disciplined for, that are eligible to be purged by Mesa policy, you should do that. And I still stand by that. I, I don't believe that uh, that is a problem. We checked and state law allows agencies to purge records, even those involving use of force, after three to five years. Something Romley feels needs to change immediately. If I was county attorney and I had found out that a department had purged its files, I would have a very strong talk with the chief. And if that didn't work, I would probably go to the mayor and city council talking about the policy. Do you think it's appropriate that we purge a criminal's criminal history? We always look at the criminal history to see if they are a career criminal. That's just the way it is. We checked with Milstead's current agency, DPS. Do they still purge troopers' disciplinary records? A spokesman tells me they'll hold on to them for a little bit longer than state-recommended standards, but it is still something that's happening today. Sonu Wasu, ABC 15, Arizona. So are Mesa police still purging police disciplinary records? We've put in requests with both Mesa and Phoenix police to find out. We are still waiting for the answers.